Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Ooh. Watch the shuffle dog champ of the world make his shot. Champion of the um of universe steps up. <laughs> What's going on, Cleo? T Bone's taking forever to shoot. Hey, Mac? Yeah, no thanks to T-Bone. Sorry. So what's going on with you, Mac? Oh, not much. I was just on my way over to my new super secret dog club. Secret club? Mm-hmm. All the best dogs on the island are in it. Wow, <gasps> like who? Me. And? And you if you want to join. Of course we want to join. Well, uh, <laughs> not everyone can get in, you know. How do you get in, Mac? First, you have to follow me. We can do that. We'll see about that. Almost there. Oh, brother. I got your tea. Thanks, Clifford. Well, here it is my super secret dog club. Wow, Mac, this is great! What a neat place for a club. It's perfect. Yeah, I know. Too bad you can't be in it, T-Bone. Huh? Huh? What? Sorry, but all members have to be able to get here. I'm here. By themselves. You have to be able to get here with no help. Sorry, T-Bone, it's a club rule. That's not fair, Mac. Yeah, that's a dumb rule. K, 
can't we change it? Yeah, let's take a vote. Oh, all right. Those in favor of T-Bone becoming a member say yes. 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 Those not in favor say no. No. Great. Three yes, one no. Looks like you're in, T-Bone. Yes. Not exactly. Huh? You see, the president, me, gets four votes. So the vote is actually three yes and four no. So I can't join? Ooh, sorry, T-Bone. Rules are rules. If T-Bone can't join the club, then I don't want to be in it either. Me neither. What do you mean? Don't you want to slide down my super secret dog club water slide? No thanks, Mac. Come on, guys. Let's go play. Great. OK. Wait. Wait. You can be vice president, Clifford. No thanks. And Cleo can be treasurer. OK, you guys. But you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Do you give up yet? Not yet, T-Bone. <laughs> Go, T-Bone! Go, Clifford! Hi, Cleo. Oh, hi, Mac. Wanna play? Oh, uh, looks like fun, but um, I'm on my way over to the club with the snacks for today. Tummy yummies, liver and bacon. Don't they smell delicious? Mm-hmm, they sure do. I'd love to give you one, but um, they're for club members only. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, they're gonna love them, Mac. <sighs> okay, T, my turn! I can't believe Cleo won't join the club without T-Bone. Oops. Sorry, Mac. Wanna play? No, no. I have club things to do today. Right. Club things. Okay, okay. Quiet down. The first meeting of the Super Secret Dog Club will now come to order. Any old business? Okay, well, um, any new business? <sighs> okay, uh, <sighs> now what? Oh, I know. How about some snacks? All in favor, say yes. You know, I thought having my own club was gonna be a lot more fun than this. Oh well, at least I have good snacks. Oh no, I'm trapped by the evil Fluffy Face. You'll never escape my prison, really big, really red dog. And now, my nasty plan to take over Planet Pluto is ready! <laughs> Are you okay, Cleo? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Get back in the trap, Clifford. Oh, no! Who will save me? Never fear! Super T-Bone is here! Super T-Bone? Boiled again. Don't worry, really big, really red dog. I'll save you! Ta -da -da! Whoa, whoa! Oh! <laughs> Oops. T-Bone, you got my ribbons and medals all full of sand. Sorry, Mac. What are they for, Mac? Oh, the club. We're gonna play some super secret games today. Sounds like fun. It will be. You can win prizes and stuff. You guys wanna come? All of us? Well, T-Bone's not a member. Oh. Come on, T. Let's go play. You have to save me, Super T-Bone! Clifford, wait. Yeah? I really want you and Cleo to join my club. It's... 
Well, it's just no fun being in a club by yourself. It's no fun being left out of a club by yourself either. Maybe you're right. Being left out of anything doesn't ever feel good. Yeah, it's just more fun when we all play together. Come on, Clifford, we need you! Okay, I'm coming! See you later, Mac. Wait, Clifford. Yeah? It is more fun when everyone plays together. So, I'm gonna change my vote. I vote that T-Bone joins my club. Wow, that's great, Mac. Come on, Clifford, let's play. Guys, Mac wants to say something. T-Bone, I'd like you to join my super secret dog club. Wow, thanks, Mac. In fact, everyone is welcome. Come on, Cleo, jump. The bird will island water slide ship is now ready. Who's next? My turn! The water slide champion of the entire world! Yeah! Look out! T-Bone? Sorry, Mac. I... I was... <laughs> hey, T-Bone. This is fun! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Really Good Book. One day, Speckle was walking home with a new book. It was one he'd wanted to read for a long time, so he was delighted to have it at last. Darnell saw Speckle's book and said he wanted to read it as well. Speckle said he'd gladly loan it to Darnell when he was done. Then Luna saw the book. It was on her list of books she wanted to read. Speckle happily agreed to lend it to Luna when Darnell was done. When Robbie and Reba saw the book, they wanted to read it too. And they wondered how long it'd be until they'd get their turn. Then Speckle smiled and said he knew how they could all enjoy the book with no waiting at all. He'd read it out loud to them right now. Luna, Darnell, Robbie, and Reba agreed that that was a wonderful idea. And so, with listening ears on, they gathered round to discover the new book together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Dog Park. <laughs> ah, now this is a perfect day for bird watching, Violet. That's nice, dear. Flowers are blooming, sun is shining, and best of all, there's not a dog in sight. Hey! Oh, no. Clifford. be 
be a law about dogs in the park. Okay, okay, just go play or something. <laughs> Why don't you just run along and play with your doggy friends now, Clifford? Oh. <sighs> Crazy dog. Just watch the birdies, dear. Go Cleo! Go T-Bone! Go Cleo! <laughs> Whose side are you on anyway? On the winner's side, of course. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Here comes Clifford! <laughs> Oh, hello. Hey, Clifford. Clifford. Hi, guys. Hey, now that Clifford's here, let's play Red Rover. Yeah, that's a great game. I'll go first. Ready? Ready! Red, Red Rover, Rover, Red Rover, Rover send, send Clifford, Clifford right, right over. over. Whoa! Mm, maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Get out of the Whoa. way! Where'd you go? Uh oh. <sighs> What's all the noise? Get this galloping gargantuan out of my face! Clifford, sit. I'm sorry, Mr. Bleakman. Clifford didn't mean any harm. Well, he's not the only dog wreaking havoc. It's the whole bunch of them. Emily, dear, maybe Clifford and his friends should play in another part of the park today. Okay, Mrs. Bleakman. Come on, Clifford. Let's go over by the playground. Whoop. <laughs> Dogs shouldn't be allowed in this park, especially big red ones. You dogs play over here, away from Mr. Bleakman, okay? <laughs> hey, Emily! I can swing higher than you can! Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. So, what do you guys want to do? How about a good game of fetch? I'm fabulous at that game. That sounds fun. Okay, let's go find a nice big fetch stick. Yeah, sounds good. A bird is a beautiful thing, Violet, unlike a dog. I don't believe it. What luck. It's a Birdwell Island budgie. I've actually found a rare Birdwell Island budgie. This is remarkable. I gotta get a closer look. See any good fetch sticks yet, Clifford? Yeah, here's a loose one. Uh-oh. There's a bird on this branch. A Birdwell Island budgie. What luck! <gasps> oh no, it's moved. The budgie moved. to hurry and find him before he flies away. Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, yes. Adorable. We don't want to wake him up. So what are we supposed to do? Stand here until his nap time is over? Uh-huh. What we need is a safe place to put the branch down. <gasps> and I know just the place. How much farther, Cleo? We're almost there. Okay, then, you guys stay here, and I'll take her out there. 
I must be getting close. Soon I'll see with my own two eyes the rare wonder of the Birdwell Island bu What is going on? Clifford! No! Don't go! Please! Please! You! You scared my bird away. You and all your dog friends are ruining this park for all bird-loving humans. And I won't stand for it anymore! You sure you want to do this, Horace? Let's go home, have a nice glass of lemonade, and think this over, dear. No, the city laws say Birdwell Island Park was built for people, not dogs. And that's the way I want it. Tomorrow, I plan to spend a perfect day at the park with no dogs allowed. Ah, another perfect day. No, 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 better than perfect. Dogless. Whatever you say, dear. Violet, where is everybody? The kids, and the birds, and, and the squirrels. Well, dear, the kids always came here with their dogs. No dogs, no kids. No kids, no laughter. And Mrs. Diller always brought Cleo when she comes to feed the squirrels. No dogs, no Mrs. Diller. No Mrs. Diller, no playful squirrels. And the lady who feeds the birds always came to hear the kids laugh and watch the squirrels play. No dogs, no laughing kids or playful squirrels. No kids and squirrels, no lady to feed the chirping birds. It certainly does make the place quiet, doesn't it? Yes, it certainly does. <sighs> I wish we could go to the park. Me too. That Mr. Bleakman has ruined it for everyone. Hey, what are you kids doing here? We're sorry, Mr. Bleakman. Are we making too much noise or something? No, but kids and dogs should be at the park on a beautiful day like today. Don't you think so? You mean we can go back to the park now, Mr. Bleakman? With our dogs? That's what parks are for. Now get going! Come on, Clifford, let's go! We'll play catch! <laughs> 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 yep, that's what parks are for. today. Uh-huh. And don't worry about the dogs, dear. I saw Clifford and his friends playing down by the pond. Good. Maybe I'll actually get to watch some birds today. Oh, no. Rain? No, it's just Clifford. Is that a problem, dear? <sighs> no, no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> Clifford and I know that it's important to always tell the truth. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. I love my new bird bath. Cleo, where are you? Whoa! <laughs> Oh, no. I broke it. <gasps> what happened? Uh, I don't know. Clifford did it. 
Clifford, you broke my bird bath. Huh? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. T-Bone said so. He didn't break it, Cleo. I did. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. How can I trust you if you lie to me, T-Bone? You made me yell at Clifford and he didn't even do anything. I'm sorry. From now on, I'm gonna tell the truth. Right from the start. Sometimes it's really hard, but telling the truth is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. little bulldog you are. You couldn't scare the fly off a jelly donut. I better get that. What does he mean I couldn't scare a fly off a jelly donut? Sheriff Lewis really thinks I'm tough at all. I'll bet he wishes he did have a tough little bulldog. A sheriff should have a tough guy dog. I'm gonna see if Cleo and Clifford can help me toughen up. chance to try being tough. Oh, hi, T. 
T-Bone. Uh, didn't I scare you guys? Not really. Not a bit. Not even a little bit? Did you want to scare us? No. Well, yeah. What's wrong, T? Chef Lewis said I couldn't scare a fly off a jelly donut. So? Flies have to eat, too. So? Cleo, I'm a bulldog. Bulldogs are supposed to be tough. What's wrong with being a nice bulldog? You just don't understand. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, how does this look, guys? Oh, you look kind of cute. I don't want to look cute. How about this? <laughs> I like that one, Tebow. That's funny. Oh, well then, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> it's cute and funny. I give up. Gee, T-Bone, cute and funny are good things. But I'm supposed to be tough. Why? I'm sure Sheriff Lewis loves you just the way you are. I don't know, Clifford. I think he wishes I were tough. I just wish I knew how to get that way. Heck, it's easy to be tough. All you have to do is have big muscles and a tough guy face. Really? Chef! Can you help me get big muscles and a tough guy face, Cleo? Of course. Are you sure, Cleo? Have I ever stared T-Bone wrong? Yes. Yes. Then follow me. Okay, T-Bone, let's see how strong you are. Go ahead and move this rock. Right. Job, T. I feel tougher already, Cleo. Step aside, big guy. I need to get some water. Yes, sir. Hey. Whoa! Step aside, frog. <gasps> okay, then. If you won't move, I'll have to move you. Are you okay? I might as well just give up. I'm never gonna be a tough dog. Okay, uh, forget about being strong. Let's just work on your tough guy face. Oh, okay. That's the most important part of being tough anyway. Okay then, let's do it. How's this, Cleo? That's a really tough, tough guy face. Isn't it, Clifford? Oh, yeah. Tough. Okay, T. It's time to test it. There's a crab around here who's the crabbiest crab of all crabs. If you can scare him, you can scare anyone. Bring him on, Cleo. I'm ready. <sighs> Aha! There you are. Hey, I did it! He's scared of me! I 
I'm tough! Uh, that's not the crab Cleo was talking about, T-Bone. That's the crab. Oh. Okay, here I go. I guess I was just never meant to be a tough dog. T-Bone, you're a really nice dog, and everyone loves you that way. Especially Sheriff Lewis. Yeah. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, T. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, T-Bone. <laughs> Time to go home. Hey, who's that? I'll get some iced tea, Martha. Oh, that sounds good. Wow, I've never seen her before, and she's never seen me. She doesn't know I'm a nice dog. Now's my chance to show the sheriff how tough I can be. Well, hello there, little doggy. <coughs> oh, my goodness. <coughs> sheriff, there's a mean dog out here, help. Mean? I don't want her to think I'm mean, just tough. T-Bone, what's wrong with you? <laughs> this is my dog, T-Bone. He's really a very nice dog. I don't know why he was barking like that. He seems like a nice dog now. He's real cute, too. Everyone loves my T-Bone. And I love my nice, sweet little boy more than any other dog in the whole wide world. <laughs> he loves me just the way I am. jumpers. One day, Speckle and his friends were playing hopscotch. Speckle was about to begin his turn when suddenly a raindrop fell. Then the sky grew darker and big round raindrops splashed onto the ground, making everything wet. Everyone quickly ran for cover. When the storm stopped and the sun came out, they saw the rain had washed their hopscotch marks away. The sidewalk was so wet, Luna's chalk couldn't draw a new one. It looked like hopscotch was over for the day. But then Speckle figured that instead of hopping in squares, they could hop in the puddles. So they splashed and played in a wet kind of way, and everyone loved the new game they'd invented. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Stars in your eyes.
Good job. Now bring it back. <laughs> it's not exactly the stick I threw, Clifford. But I like it even better. <laughs> Emily! Look what my dad gave me. Isn't it cool? What is it, Charlie? It's a real telescope. Go on, try it. You can't see much through it yet. But when it gets dark, you can see stars and planets. Maybe even a spaceship. <laughs> spaceship? Oh, hi, Jetta. Look at my new telescope. Isn't it great? <laughs> We're so great about a toy telescope. It's not a toy, Jetta. It's powerful enough to see Saturn's rings, or giant Jupiter, even the big red planet Mars. I see it! I see the big red planet! <laughs> I think you're seeing a big red dog, Jetta. Joking. It really is much better to look through it at night. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a look at the stars party. Cool. A party? Yeah, we can play games and have cake and take turns looking through your telescope. Great idea, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford, I'll go ask my parents now. Come on, Clifford, let's hurry. Woof, woof. Clifford! This is gonna be great. Yeah, but if I had a real telescope like this, I'd never bring it to a party. What do you mean? Well, it's one thing bringing a toy to a party, but something could happen to a real telescope. Oh. Someone could drop it, and sand would get all inside it, and that would absolutely ruin it. You're right. Maybe I'll just leave it at home. <gasps> you can't do that now. I can't? Well, of course not. Emily Elizabeth would be really mad at you. I don't think she would. Please. I mean, the whole party is about your telescope. You can't show up without it. If it were me, I just wouldn't come to the party at all. Well, I'll see you and your telescope at the party. Bye. Yeah, see you at the party. Thanks for helping with the party, Mom. I love our decorations. Mm-hmm. I think our solar system mobile looks especially good. It sure does. Someday, you kids may actually be traveling to these planets. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Let's go find some place to hang this besides your nose. Hi, Mrs. Howard. Hello, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Emily, I... Don't forget your telescope tonight. There's gonna be a big full moon to look at. Right, my telescope. Where is it? Uh, well, I left it at home. The beach isn't a very good place for it. You know, with all the sand. I guess that's true. It really is. We'll all just have to be extra careful with it tonight. Yeah, we will. Great! 
great idea for a party. And these cardboard telescopes are almost as good as real ones. Oof. Whoa, whoa. Wow, the stars look even better from down here. <laughs> I love walking on the moon. Even if it is just pretend. Telescope is not a toy, you know. It's real. I wouldn't want everyone playing with my real telescope, would you? He could just leave the telescope at home. Charlie knows that. No, he couldn't. You'd be all mad at him for ruining your party. What? Well, I mean, the whole party is about his telescope, isn't it? Is that what you told Charlie? Well, not exactly. Jetta, he doesn't have to bring his telescope if he doesn't want to. Charlie's not bringing his telescope tonight? Oh, I really wanted to use it. See? I knew everyone would be mad at him if he didn't bring it. We're not mad at him, Jetta. We just wish he would bring it. Yeah, we'd rather have Charlie here without his telescope than not have Charlie here at all. That's what I think too, Jetta. Okay, okay, so let's go get him and bring him to the party. Yes, let's. Yeah, let's go get him. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we pick him up in a spaceship instead? What do you mean? Huh? A big red spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through a telescope alone isn't much fun. I should have gone to Emily's party. Huh? Wow, look at that! That's the most amazing spaceship I've ever seen. You guys look so cool. We want you to come back to the party with us, Charlie. I really want to, Emily, but my telescope could get ruined in the sand, and I really don't want it to. We know. And you still want me to come? Of course. Your telescope is really special to you. It's OK if you don't want to share it. It is? It's you we want at the party, Charlie, not your telescope. Wow, that makes me feel really good, Emily. Thanks. Oh. Wait a minute. Maybe I can bring my telescope. As long as everyone stays on the spaceship to use it. Oh. Wow, the stars look amazing through this telescope. And there's no sand up here to get inside and ruin it. I'm really glad Charlie decided to bring it. Thanks for understanding about the telescope, Emily. 
No problem, Charlie. You know, maybe someday we really will travel to the stars. Sure we will. You and me and Clifford. My big red spaceship. now and then. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. Oh, no! I can't find it anywhere. Hey, T-Bone. I was just on my way over to Clifford's house. Want to come? <clears throat> no, thanks. <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, sorry, Cleo. It's just that I buried a bone here yesterday and now I can't find it. Can I help? Sure. Thanks. Hey, guys, what you doing? I'm looking for a bone I buried. And I'm helping. Let me help, too. Found it. You did find it. You're the best friends a dog could ever have. When you help someone, you really make them feel good. And you make yourself feel pretty good, too. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. Elizabeth would love this. I'm gonna go find her. She's not here. Not here either. Go find her. Hmm. Where is everybody? Huh? Maybe everyone went down to greet the fairy. I'm gonna go see. Be 
careful, Pedro. I am being careful, Victor. The balloons! You got them! <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> Clifford's going to love them. Oh, thank you both. Oh, no! It's Clifford! It's Clifford! Pedro and I will hide the balloons. Everything's under control. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Pedro. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> I know you want to play, but... my best idea ever. Your best idea. Okay, okay, our best idea. Just look at it, T-Bone. Doesn't it just make you want to drool? <gasps> yeah, it sure does. <gasps> Where'd that come from? Uh-oh, we don't want him to see this. <laughs> Cleo, I don't think you... Shh! But Cleo! You'll give the surprise away. There you are. Oh, uh, hiya, Clifford. Hi, Cleo. What's wrong with T-Bone? Oh, uh, he, he, he had onions for breakfast. <laughs> they give him awful breath, you know. Oh. <laughs> this is my new toy. Want to play? Uh, well, we'd like to, but... You know, I gotta take T-Bone home so he can brush his teeth and gargle with mouthwash. So how about we just meet you at the park later, okay? Okay, see ya, bye. Okay. Well, good luck with the gargling, T-Bone. Maybe there's someone to play with at the dune this morning. Yeah. Very 
goes. Whew, that was a close one. Now all we gotta do is... Hey, where's the wagon? Um... Huh? Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me? But, but, but I... Well, come on, let's go get it. This is the best birthday cake you've ever made, Dad. It's for someone pretty special. After all, there's only one. Oh, 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 oh. Clifford. Clifford! What should we do? Quick, hide behind the bush. That was a close one, huh, Dad? <laughs> yes, but I think we're going to need some more frosting. <laughs> <laughs> T-Bone can't play till later. Emily's busy. No one else is around. Oh, boring, boring, boring. Hey. Perfect shot. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is fun. I guess playing alone isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Emily Elizabeth. Emily Elizabeth. Clifford! There she is. Clifford! Surprise! <gasps> Happy birthday, Clifford! That's why none of us could play with you all day, Clifford. You aren't too lonely. We were all just working hard to make sure your surprise party was the best ever. <laughs> you were surprised, weren't you? <laughs> I guess that means yes. Happy birthday, Clifford. You're the best dog in the whole world. On the hottest day anyone could remember, Speckle and his friends just couldn't stay cool. Not even in the waiting pool. Everyone wanted to play and have fun, but it was just too hot to do their favorite things. Then, Speckle thought of a way they could play and stay cool. He brought over some ice cubes and plopped them in the pool. Then started a game of catch the cube. Then, twirling the garden hose, Speckle made a water jump rope. 
soon the grass was all wet and slippery. And Speckle led the way in a water slide across the yard. <laughs> Giggling and joyful, the friends all agreed. Speckle's new way of playing was totally cool. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Well, would you look at this? I hate to give someone a parking ticket on Founder's Day, T-Bone, but this car shouldn't be parked here. Hi, Sheriff Lewis. Happy Founder's Day. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Say, you think Clifford could help me out by moving this car? I think he'd be happy to. Woof. Thank you so much, Clifford. Woo. I was just on my way to the beach to help set things up for the Founders Day fireworks tonight. I can't wait. It should really be something. They're gonna have fireworks of all the most important people ever to live on <gasps> Birdwell Island. <laughs> Say, Emily Elizabeth, I wonder if you and Clifford could do me another little favor. We'll try. Would you two mind if T-Bone kind of hung around with you today? He gets a little jumpy around fireworks. He doesn't like loud noises much. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See what I mean? I have to go help Mom at the store for a while, but I'm sure Clifford would love to spend time with T-Bone. Right, Clifford? Come on, sweetie. Come on out. Oh, you are so adorable. You're gonna outshine the Founder's Day fireworks tonight. You run along and play now, sweetie. Look, T, it's Cleo. It is? Hi, guys. You look great. Thanks. I'm gonna outshine the Founder's Day fireworks tonight. Fireworks? Uh, don't talk about the fireworks, Cleo. T-Bone's got a big problem with loud noises. Really? How come you never told us you don't like loud noises before? I didn't want you to think I was a big scaredy cat or something. We'd never think that, T-Bone. I know. It's just, I wish I wasn't scared of loud noises. I'd love to watch those fireworks. Maybe with a little help, you can. You think so? I don't know, but we can try. I, I don't like this very much. It's so noisy. I know. I don't like it either. Well, I don't either. 
So I'm gonna do something about it. What are you gonna do, Cleo? I'm gonna make noise right back at it. Like this. Whoa! When something scares you, you can try to scare it right back. Go on, T-Bone. Try it. Better plan. What are you gonna do, Clifford? Maybe it'll be easier if you get used to loud noises slowly. Just a little bit at a time. Oh, okay, a little bit at a time. <laughs> Boo. That wasn't so bad. What's next? Ready, T-Bone? Ready. That's not so bad. Oh! I don't think I'm gonna like this. You can do it, T. You're doing great, T-Bone. Can we stop now? Just one last thing. That's gonna make a big noise when he drops it, huh? Mm-hmm. A really big noise. <gasps> well, not really big. Go ahead, Clifford. I'm ready. Drop it. <gasps> Let's go find him. Come on, T-Bone, please come out. Yeah, please. No, I'm never coming out. I'm nothing but a big scaredy cat. You're not a scaredy cat, T-Bone. You just don't like loud noises. Besides, it's like I told you. Everyone's afraid of something. Even if it doesn't make sense to other people. I'm afraid of the dark. Really? Yep. I can't even sleep at night without my glow-in-the-dark hedgehog toy. What about you, Clifford? I bet you're not afraid of anything. Spiders. Spiders? Spiders. Uh-huh. I know they're really friendly, but for some reason, they just scare me. See, T, everyone's scared of something even if it's not for a good reason. And if loud noises scare you, 
then we'll just forget about going to the fireworks tonight. Thanks, guys. Clifford and I will stay right here with you tonight, T. We wouldn't think of leaving you alone. Aw, uh, you don't have to stay with me. Okay, great. We'll see you tomorrow. No. Don't worry about it, T-Bone. We want to stay here with you. Right, Cleo? Right. We want to. Really. And we can all watch the fireworks together. Right here at your house. It's important to try new things. That's how you learn. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is believe in yourself. Hiya, T-Bone. Want to play ball with Clifford and me? Sure. I get better at this game every time we play. Okay, then. Let's play. <clears throat> can I try that again? I know I can do it this time. Okay. Here it comes. I did it! <laughs> I hit it! I remember the first time we played, you couldn't hit the ball at all. I knew that if I just kept working at it and doing my best, I'd get better. So let's keep playing. Believing in yourself helps you to try your best and to keep on trying. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is believe in yourself. <laughs> 